What's up CAD fam? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a let's sew. It's a let's sew for this t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. Before we jump into the let's sew, if you guys want to see the full look of the bomber styled tee, here you go. So what it is, is a bomber styled collar, got a welt pocket right here. Then we got rips on the sleeve with a lining under it, so it just gives it that uh, distressed type of look without looking a little bit too distressed and looking still formal a little bit so there you go that's the full look of the bomber style tee so without further ado let's get straight into the video yo it's been forever since i did a let's sew and big disclaimer to everyone that's watching this let's sew or any new viewers of the let's sew series this is not a tutorial, it is a like a kickback type of video where I kind of sit back, let a sewing video play in the background, and just chat a little bit, like we're just kind of like all kicking it. That's basically what let's sews are, so I'm so sorry if I haven't been putting out tutorials. I've just been really busy trying to going in and out of my little sweatshop here. It's been weird because I, I, some days I'm really, really in the sweatshops and making videos. Then some days I'm out in LA or I'm out in a meeting and there's so much things going on right now. And I wish, I wish I could just be home and just sew and make tutorials, but it's just like the time isn't there for me right now. But hopefully after all these deals or all these business meetings are done, I can kick back and relax and sit down and make more tutorials. But right now a lot of business i gotta i gotta push forward i told you guys 2016 was my year i want to make sure that i can just kind of be comfortable in whatever i am doing right now so until i'm comfortable i am going to be working my butt off till i get what i want i was not lying when i said 2016 better be my year i am working around the clock 24 7 Hustle and work is my new girlfriend. That is literally what I put all my attention towards. So putting in that work, you know what I'm saying? Work, 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 work. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Anyways, so for this t-shirt, I got really inspired by certain parts of a bomber jacket, certain parts of a blazer. So that's why you're seeing this welt pocket being made. Now, I'm not really that good at making welt pockets. I've only made, this is probably my third welt pocket that I've made in my whole entire sewing career. So I am so sorry in advance if it looks kind of bad. This again is a test run. This is me just practicing the concepts, the techniques and whatnot. So please do not rain down on how bad this welt pocket is. I am still trying to get in the works of it or I'm trying to figure it out. So I bought some interfacing that I was going to add to this welt pocket, but figures I bought the wrong interfacing and it's it's just not that type of interfacing. So that was kind of my bad. So that's why the pocket looks kind of flimsy on body. But honestly, I like how flimsy it looks because it kind of adds to the t-shirt. So I guess it is kind of a win-win for me. Win-loss, loss-win. And yeah, there you go, sewn on that young pocket for y'all. <laughs> All right, anyways, so I want to talk about something that my friend brought up to me the other day, and it, I thought it was really interesting that he brought this up to me because it's just something so random. And he asked me, like, how do you feel being a guy and sewing? And I was just like, it just feels like I'm a guy that sews. There's nothing to it. He's like, oh, don't you ever get criticized? And... I think a lot of people have this question too and I just want to give you guys my opinion on it. Now it's 2016, gender roles don't really play a, like any effect in society anymore. Like you can, I, I mean I go on Instagram, there's guys doing makeup, I mean that's cool. I mean why should we even care about what people do? At the end of the day it's what people want to do and they're gonna do it anyways whether we care or not. So I pretty much told my friend like, yo, look at it, look at it this way. I do not care. I should never care and I should do what I love and love what I do. And he was like, true, true, true. <laughs> 
basically the moral of that story is if you're a guy or if you're any gender or anyone that has like some sort of thing that they want to do but they're scared of what society has to say about it don't care about society care about yourself because at the end of the day that's what matters the most so if you're a guy that wants to sew go ahead and sew or whatever you may want to do in life go ahead and do it because you only live one life and you should do what you love or do what you want to do you shouldn't be limited by society you shouldn't be limited by anything so go out there and do what you want to do, alright? I, I, I. <laughs> Anyways, so another thing that I want to bring up is starting or getting another P.O. box. I used to have a P.O. box back when I lived in Irvine. That was about, I think, two years ago. And I still have that P.O. box, but I need to close it and open one in San Diego. The reason why I want to open a P.O. box is because I want to do like fan mail or you guys can send me some random stuff and or you can just send me fabric to work with i don't know what you want to do but let me know what you guys think about the p.o box idea should i start one would you send me something what would you send me and let me all know all that down below i think that would be pretty interesting so that was the episode what do you guys think about the tea do you like it do you not like it what would you have done differently Please let me know down below. But anyways, thanks for watching CAD fam. Love you guys as always. Remember to keep it daily. And I hope to catch you guys next time. Peace!